Down there, there it is. I think, is it? I can't see. Is it a stick or a crocodile? You see on where the fallen over tree is, Senzo, on the right of the fallen over tree, on the bank itself, looks like a little baby crocodile. I think it's a baby crocodile. Its camouflage is incredibly good. So I'm not 100% sure if we'll be right or not. When Senzo zooms in, I'll be able to see a little bit better. So at the edge of the fallen over tree, on the bank itself, no, come this way, closer, the tree closest to us. Yep, that one right close there, and then to the right of that, there we go, yes, there we go, there's our little baby crocodile. So, I can see one, is there another one behind it? Just go back a little bit, just come out a little bit for me, Senzo. Is there another one there behind it? Looks like it, looks like two, am I right? Yes, there is another one at the back, on the back right is another crocodile, and I think there might be even another one. So, I can see one, two, three... Three at least. Am I right? Yes, three. So three little baby crocs, James, that I can see. Maybe there's some more spread around here. You might find some of them still in the thickets under the, the little trees, but how cool is that? So there's our little baby crocodile family, and you can see they're already practicing a gula flutter, the one in front. It's got its little mouth open and is busy watching and looking and trying to just cool down a little bit. And they already know that they need to try and spend time out in the sun to warm up and get their body nice and kind of active to be able to hunt little insects and frogs and small fish and to be able to then start growing to become the monsters like their mother Vlad. Now of course Vlad was named a boy's name even though she is a girl and I wonder where Vlad is and why Vlad is not spending any time in this general area but how cool is that? So I thought there was only two but it seems as though three that I can see. I'm just looking around the bank in case there's maybe some more of them, but it seems like just the three. Now, they're not the only baby animals at Chitra Dam at the moment. There is also another little family very close by, and they're a bit bigger. They're probably a little older than these little crocodile ones because those crocs would have been born probably around October time. And it's an Egyptian geese family. There you see the little chicks. So those chicks are really quite big. I would say they must be now probably three or four months old. And look at their little wings and their bums wagging. See, I, I got their technique down pat yesterday. Maybe they learnt it from me when I stood on Chitra Dam wall and wiggled my giraffe tail when I was wearing my giraffe onesies because those ducks looked like they had the same technique as what I had. So little goslings, if you want to call them that, and then crocodiles as well, and a buffalo weaver that's busy building its nest in front of the little goslings at the moment. So uh, this is why Chitra Dam is just the most incredible place. It's It's really a wonderful area to spend time and at this time of the year is absolutely amazing because there's just so much that happens at this time of the year. You've got lots of young animals around from the chicks of birds to these baby crocodiles. Generally crocodiles will nest in sort of June, July, August and they have their little ones by October. So those when I reckon those little crocs were born. And then we've got the little plovers, we've got a baby hippo. So we've got all kinds of things that are around. Sometimes you'll even see things like baby waterbuck here, they'll soon they'll be impala lambs, baby kudu, baby nyala, so it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place to come late in the afternoon. I find there is a lot that goes on here and it's a place that I can spend a lot of time, that's for sure.